I got the idea from this person. Thank you so much. The one with the haunted Elsa doll. Made by Wee Wen. Inspired by Chim Chim Trash. BTS texts number 51. Fiction. So the package I received earlier from an anonymous sender contains a doll. You should get rid of it. We shouldn't take anything from anonymous people. Don't be a killjoy person. It's a gift. Maybe it's from one of his friends or our staff. I think so too Chim. Maybe they wanted to surprise me. And I am. I mean, why doll? What kind of doll young? Is it a Chucky doll? An Annabelle doll or the boy doll? They are all creepy cookie. Maybe the sender sent a Barbie doll. That's better. The sender sent me an Elsa doll. Not the usual doll. It's plush doll. Like a teddy bear. Maybe she's the reason why tonight is raining. Cold of rain never bothered her anyway. Speaking of rain. You make sure your phones are full charged. It's raining so hard. Juni is right. With these thunder and lightning. The power will go down later. I sure am lucky cause I now have Elsa. My company. When the electricity cuts off. Just because the power went down doesn't mean you have to steal my Elsa plush doll. Someone took advantage of the blackout and sneaked in my room to steal it. Guys, stop fooling around. The one who stole it, give it back to Hobby right now. I did not steal it. Why the fuck would I steal a doll that came from an unknown sender? You are being suspicious, Yungi. You talk too much. Why are you so defensive? He was with me getting candles in the kitchen before you said your doll's missing. Maybe Elsa is still in your room. It's just dark that's why you can't see her. Nope. I put her on my bed before I washed my face. When I came back, she's gone. And my door is slightly ajar so I am sure someone went in to steal my new doll. OMG. Don't tell me that plushy doll is haunted and is now strolling in our house. Stop scaring yourself. That is the product of watching too much horror movies. I found her. She's just sitting beside my door. Wit. I'm sure I put her on bed. Anyways. Maybe I am too tired and thought I put her on bed even though I didn't. Or maybe I was right. That the plushie is haunted young burn that doll already. Stop it Chim. Hobby is right. He's exhausted and his mind is playing with him. You are so fucking scaredy cat Chimmy. Ghosts and real. Casper isn't real. Anyways, me and Jin found a sock on the stairs after getting candles. I almost forgot about that one. He's right. It's a smiling sun sock without its pair. That's mine. How the fork my sock ended up there? I put it in my laundry basket. And one sock only? I just checked the basket and its pair ain't here too. Maybe cause you're too tired you didn't know you're taking your socks off anywhere. Chim's right. Elsa beside the opened door. Sock on the stairs. She put it there. Wait. Maybe Tay's right. I don't clearly remember if I did put the socks in my basket. And please. Stop it with the haunted doll thingy. Elsa is just a plush doll. It ain't alive. <coughs> Who the fork is screaming? It's past midnight. Raining hard. And you are screaming. It was Hobby. He's frantically calling me cause he said he's scared. Sorry for that. Gosh, you woke me up Hobby. You screamed so loud. And why are you scared? It's Elsa. It's alive. Now I'm sure I really put it on my bed and not just cause I'm tired. I knew it. Now someone go in my room to protect me cause Shammy can't do it. Don't panic yet. Maybe it was just a dream young and you thought it's real. It was not a dream. I'm awake the whole time cause I was watching K-drama on Netflix. I was hugging the forking doll. And when I hugged it more, it talked. It said, Hi. I am Elsa. Wanna build a snowman then it laughed creepily. And I am telling the truth cause when I threw her on the wall, it said, Olaf is coming. Can I panic now? Cause you know, the scream is waiting at the far end of my mouth. Guys we need to call the priest. I don't want the whole frozen squad to terrorize us. Calm down, okay? I'm here at your room and the Elsa doll is on your bed. What? I sure am I threw that on the wall. It should be on the floor and not on my bed. OMG. She literally walked onto your bed. She is waiting for you young. Maybe his mind's playing with him again. He imagined things cause of lack of sleep. No dumb fork. 
I am wide awake and my mind is in good condition. I even saw a glimpse of the doll lying on the floor before I went here at Junie's. But why Yungi is saying that the doll is on your bed? Hobby, you're just tired okay. Your imagination's just tricking you cause you lack of sleep. And stop hiding in my closet. I won't get out of here unless it's already morning or we call a priest. It's gonna hurt me. And Yungi, you better throw that doll out of my window. Before it's too late. And Young. Please after doing that, pick me in my room. I am fucking scared here. You can sleep now. I already threw the doll outside and I'll pick you up now cookie. Okay, stop playing. Who put the doll in front of my door? And you even tore its arm? Cruel. What? The doll is in front of your room? How did it end up there? I thought, oh my gosh. It's inside our house again? With tore arm? It really is after me. Or maybe Yungi put that there to scare you more hobby. Yungi loves you that much. I already threw that outside. Ask Cookie. And it soms were okay when I get rid of it. Young is telling the truth. Besides, I won't go with him if he's with the doll. Cause the doll is really haunted. Has its own mind. I remember her creepy laugh again omg. And why is your room so quiet Juni? You didn't leave me here alone. Did you? I'm in the hallway. There are muds here. It's rounded footprints from small animal. I don't know what kind cause the footprint is distorted due to too much water. Don't tell me the stupid doll just walked from outside to in front of your room. I'm sure it's from Elsa. Look at her feet Juni. It's feet are round like teddy bears. I mean, if it can walk and leave a footprint, it will leave a footprint in a no shape. I hate to say this but its feet are covered from mud. And its body doesn't have much. If you can get through it. Its feet wouldn't end up like this. Maybe because it landed on its feet like a forking cat. Leave that doll and run. I hate to say this but I am believing Hobby Young now. We should call a priest. Don't forking kidding me. Someone put the doll there. I am sure of that. But who? I didn't put the doll there cause what am I gonna get if I did? Not me either. I'm scared of that doll since Hobby found her sitting beside the door. So it's true she put the sock in the stairs? So when one of us steps on it, we'll slip. Oh my gosh. You have a point. Now I wonder where is the other pair of my sock. I think this doll isn't haunted. Someone from us is making things look that she did it. I just have to look for more clues. Give me time. I'll prove to you that she isn't alive. I'll prove to blah blah. He said that minutes ago. Now we don't know where he is. Maybe Elsa already ate him and she's thinking now who will she eat next. When he said that the doll isn't alive then the doll isn't alive. Just wait for him. But what if Cookie is right? Yungi, I don't wanna get eaten by a doll. It's now past one. And I wanna have a good sleep but I can't with the evil doll on the loose. Junie said it's not alive. One of us just making the doll to look like it's moving. If that is true then who? Who is making her move? Plus, it can talk remember. Maybe you are the one who is making the doll look like it has its own mind. Hum. If I were the one, then explain why the doll ended up in front of Junie's room. If I were the one who put the doll there, he would know and caught me doing that. Or unless Junie is the one who's making this mess. Am I right Junie? You fork. The fork are you saying? No I am not. And I just finished doing my investigation. Two seconds later. When I ask you questions. You answer me immediately. No hesitations okay. First question. Hobby. What were you doing when the doll talked? I was hugging her tight cause the series I was watching was on its romantic scene. You hugged her tight. Meaning you squeezed her. And that's when she talked. He squeezed the stuffed toy and it talked. Is it possible that it has a voice box? A voice box? Like what Woody from Toy Story has. That's the reason it can talk. Yes it is. I cut it open. I found a voice box with a button. It's not working anymore though. Let's say it's not talking without a voice box, but it was moving right. Chimmy is right. It moved right. From the bed to the door. Plus the sock on stairs. Oh that? Now it's your time to answer my question Tay Young. Me? You are not accusing me, are you? But okay. What do you want me to answer? You still don't notice it, do you? Where do you think your dog is, Tanny? He is in Jin Young's room now. He said he wants Tanny with him tonight. I didn't bring him with me. 
I told you after dinner that I changed my mind. So Tani isn't in your both rooms? Then where the heck is he? He's with me in the kitchen. Guess what? He's the one who moved Elsa by playing with it. Did he really do that? Well, it's a common knowledge he can do that. But I didn't see him coming inside my room earlier. I didn't notice him, cause you were washing your face and his fur is black. He tried stealing Elsa from you, and the missing pair of your sock and Elsa's arm are with him. Evidence is he did it all, so he is the one who took Elsa from outside and brought it back inside. Yes. The back door was open and that's where he went in and out. Oh. I think I'm the one who forgot to close it. I am so sorry. And you said hallway is full of mud right? So I assume he is full of mud too. Not just the hallway. Even the kitchen and living room are full of mud. You clean it. I can't believe Tanny did it all. That little naughty dog is getting on my nerves. Knowing that Elsa plush doll isn't haunted made me breathe normal again. Yeah right. We can now sleep tonight. From now on, no dolls are allowed here. And you can now leave my room. My babysitting job is done. And you said you're banning dolls in our house. Junie will be sad cause of that news. I didn't know you have many Olaf plushies in your closet. Why didn't I notice it earlier? Olaf dolls in my closet? I don't have one. Not even in my room. Are you telling the truth? But why am I seeing Arlof plush dolls in your closet? I don't know. I didn't purchase many Arlof dolls and hid it in my closet. I swear. Oh my gosh. I remember what Elsa plush doll said. Olaf is coming. The end.